Welcoming all to a brand new episode of the Educator Daily Show. Today we are going to discuss about computer related education courses. There are plenty of courses which are available and attributed to computer science field. So we are trying to find out which is the best and in this discussion we have selectively picked few of them like BCA, BSc and BTEC computer science engineering. So let's start our discussion and try to understand which is the better course we have to go forward with. So let's start. So before going to the particular topic of picking and understanding each of these three courses which are unique and have their own advantages and disadvantages, try to understand what is computer science related education field looks like from an outside for a person who is trying to understand and plan an education and career towards this particular domain that the entire field can be divided into basically three different modules. The first one is obviously on the hardware part that is whatever devices let it be a tab or computing devices you take. It is built upon so many hardware units. So this is the first part and second is the software part something which makes these machines interactive. It gives software's applications which allows its users to interact with these machines. And the third part which is the information technology. So basically we started with hardware. Then we put a kind of soul into these devices. We can call them as softwares. Then after the third part, which is the information technology or information science. So when we are trying to understand what is information science or technology, this particular term is used in a business context and also use of computer system to manage the information is the main application of this IT field. So obviously the careers related to IT will give into help desk technician, system analyst, IT security, network administrator and database administrators. So these are the five unique and the basic career path one IT person selects and also we must have a certain kind of understanding towards this IT means to say IT does not involve personal computing as such and IT composes more than just computers. So it deals with information. So information as we know comes from data and leads to knowledge. So in between these two milestones information and its handling is very vital. And the third part is IT is the core part of any business now. We know modern business is more into digital. This digital thing is actually related to information or IT technology. So friends having said that. This is the basic thing when a person is trying to understand about the computer related education or computer domain as such. So now we are going to understand which are the three basic courses which are namely BCA, BSc and BTEC. So let's start again on this particular topic. So when we are discussing about the duration, BSc is giving three years undergraduate course and BCA also goes for three years course but when we are going to BTEC it is a four years course. Main focus of courses first we take BCA mainly into applications of computers. Understanding the technicalities and hardware function is not necessary when you are going for your BCA course but when you are coming to BSc course here we are understanding basic concepts in the field of computer science and technological implementation of computers. So computer science in BSc is giving to basic concepts but in BCA it's more into applications. When we reach to BTEC it's about studying computers in depth including their software, hardware, concepts and applications. Means to say obviously when we are comparing BCA, BSc with BTEC, BTEC is one year extra. That one year extra specifically indicates that the dedication you are going to give for this particular course and how much this course is designed to deal with computer related 
aspects now we can understand about the topics included in this particular course bca course when we take multimedia systems web based applications and basics of computer programming are the pivotal topics when it comes to bsc computer science programming concepts disk operating systems and control structures are the topics when we reach to btec digital circuits and systems data structures operating systems database management systems and computer architecture are going to be the core topics from this particular course so basically saying from bca to btec a kind of gradual but very systematic sophistication of education is happening let's come to what are the subjects you need to study in your 12th or plus 2 so that you can pick bca bsc or btec computer science first we will go with bca any student from any stream even if he or she has not studied mathematics physics or chemistry can go for bca that is a great relief but certain institutions or universities may ask for your mathematics education your plus one and plus two which is not compulsory across other universities it may be case to case basis now when it comes to bsc computer science a kind of education earned from your plus one plus two must be almost same as for btec means to say you must study physics chemistry mathematics pcm subjects in your plus one and plus two then only you can make a selection of bsc computer science or btec computer science and engineering any person who studied their humanities or commerce subject in your plus one plus two and if you want to go for computer related career and education the safe choice is bca you can right away pick that course and proceed with your computer related course if you are planning for bsc or btec you should study physics chemistry and mathematics here one thing need to be mentioned and clarified that computer science is not compulsory that you should study in your plus one plus two even those students who studied biology can offer bsc or btec now coming to the course structure which you are going to handle or see in bca bsc or btec first we will take bca here you are going to study digital computer fundamentals interpersonal communication financial management mobile applications computer graphics and animation cyber law multimedia applications embedded systems when it comes to bsc programming fundamentals using c++ computer system architecture data structure design and analysis of algorithms database management systems internet technologies theory of computation and computer graphics you are going to study it comes to the btec the core structure is getting very interesting and very sophisticated programming fundamentals using c++ which is something you found in your bsc course web technologies management systems multimedia technologies applied mathematics applied physics applied chemistry database management systems or data mining theory of computation engineering mechanics algorithm analysis and design means to say you are entering into the world of engineering that is what btec all about now when it comes to the admission criteria for bca plus two marks are enough but certain universities or institutions may conduct entrance tests if they are reputed enough and same goes for bsc computer science also plus 2 marks is enough but certain institutions and universities are going for entrance test so that the limited seats can be grabbed by only the merit based students when it reaches to btec computer science and engineering plus 2 marks will qualify you to write entrance examinations like je main je advanced and other various entrance examinations which we already discussed in this particular channel which you can refer when it comes to the higher education options if you studied bca safely and obviously you can go for mca which was three years course before but now it comes to two year course msc computer science you can go for even you can go for the ms mba or even postgraduate diploma courses you can select but when you reaches to bsc the higher education options looks same that is you can go for mca you can go for msc computer science you can go for ms you can go for mba or even postgraduate diploma when you reaches btec the things changes you are 
qualified to go for mtech ms and mba as before for bca and bsc mtech is something which is preserved and reserved for those who study btech and also if you have studied your bca or bsc and if you want to go for mtech is there any choice obviously you should understand 10 plus 2 plus 4 meaning 10th plus 2 and four years of undergraduate education in computer related courses essential for your mtech that makes btech is the only contender for the mtech course even if you studied bca or bsc one year of extra qualification if the university or institution allows can be taken and you can go for your mtech course now another thing need to be clarified here after taking btech can you take mca or even msc for that matter yes you can go for mca or even msc but the thing is btech is so comprehensive and it includes so much of the subjects that btech in itself is equivalent to getting an mca or even msc it is not necessary that you should take btech then you should go for mc or msc which is unnecessary and not needed this btech itself is comparable to mca and msc conclude this particular discussion on computer related education by understanding what are, are the career prospects and the career opportunities available for bca bsc and btech let's start with bca go for system analyst programmer system manager network designer game developer web designer technical associate and it technical support developer if you have studied bca but if you have done your bsc computer science dtp operator it project manager program analyst software engineer developer and programmer these are the area widely taken up by bsc computer science candidates now when we are coming to btech computer science engineering you can see some engineering related job here specifically software engineer software developer application developer programming analyst network engineer hardware engineer test engineer and even cad engineer so obviously btech is going to be the pick on this show because btech is something which goes in depth and is a professional education and which enables and equips you to handle the various challenges available in the field of computer related courses and education but one thing need to be clarified before ending this episode any course let it be bca bsc or even btech more than education your self motivation and self discipline towards the course is very much essential means to say more than the textbook knowledge and the grades which you are going to get from the examinations your own interest to carry out certain projects and use your skill which you gain from the education from these three years or four years is very much important and needed and this particular qualification that is your individual capacity and eligibility to handle this kind of projects keeps you stand out and extraordinary and allows you to grab jobs which pays high gives a reputation in the job market so that you don't have to run here and there with your resume and curriculum vitae cv so we are concluding our discussion here any question you have drop your question in the comment box and please visit other videos which we already made in other languages but if you are interested Obviously, we can have its English version also. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.